guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, hey, hello, and welcome. I'm Kristen, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We're gonna to be making a no drama llama paper plate craft. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be reminded when our videos go live. But with that being said, let's get started. Okay, let's get out our first plate. We're gonna go ahead and fold it right in half. Great, now what I'd like you to do is rub the two edges of the paper plate together. You're gonna to see it's gonna to start to turn inward, but that's exactly what we're looking for. This is now the body of our llama. We're gonna go ahead and just glue the two edges together, just so it stays closed. Great, now we're gonna go ahead and get out our second paper plate. Let's flip it on over and we're gonna draw on our llama's legs. Grab your pencil and let's draw really tall U's. Sorry you can't see it at the moment. I'll turn the plate in just a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. Awesome job. Let's set those to the side and get out another plate. This plate is gonna be for the head of the llama. So what I'd like you to do is get out the body and line it up. Then we're gonna slide it over just a little bit so that we'll be able to make our neck and head nice and tall. Follow along with this step the best you can. We're gonna go straight up, bring it out to the side, round it up, see how I went a little higher, and straight back down. Now it's time for the little baby tail. <laughs> so let's slide the paper plate over so that we know a good size to draw our tail. And it's as simple as that. All right guys, before we start cutting these out, I'm just gonna add on two little ears. We're gonna go curved and straight down, curved and straight down. Now let's get everything out and it's time to cut. I'm gonna speed it up from here. Ready, set, go. All right, let's go ahead and start gluing everything where it needs to go. So our head and our tail and glue on our four legs. We can make it look like the llama's walking, so separate the legs a little bit. All right, guess what? It's time to decorate. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this video. All right guys, let's get out our markers. It's time to draw on our llama's blanket. Did you know that 5,000 years ago, ancient people living in the Andes tamed llamas and since have become very important animals to Peru? The reason they hold an important place is they were used for transportation, their wool was used for clothing and blankets, and their meat for food. So that's why when you see a Peruvian llama, they're decorated. This is their way of honoring them. So let's go ahead and make our llama look extra special so that it knows how much we appreciate it. Stick around while I'm decorating my llama. I have a bunch of fun facts for you. I'm already ready for fact number one. Be careful with this one if you ever cross paths with a llama. Llamas are known for spitting to show displeasure or irritation. And if you mistreat or upset a llama, you may get sprayed. We usually think of llamas as very tranquil animals who sit around just chewing grass. But llamas are quite athletic. If a llama wants to get somewhere in a hurry, it certainly can, with top speeds of 35 miles per hour. This is looking awesome, guys. Did you know that llamas aren't camera shy? At least that's what the people who visit Machu Picchu say. They're always co cooperating, <laughs> cooperating with tourists for a nice photo. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you had fun making this no drama llama. I think it came out really cool. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.